morning. It's freezing this morning here on the plot. I um, can't actually believe how cold it is. I'm more cold this week than I was last week. I think today what we're going to do is have a look at building either a cold frame because somebody gave me a window to paint the glass or a, I'm going to knock myself up a potting table. Oh, I can't think this morning. It's that cold. My brain's froze. So uh, we're going to have a cup of tea when the kettle is boiled and then uh, I'll take you outside and hope you don't blow over. See you in a bit. Right, I've finished up the measurements of the glass window and I've moved my pallets down from the plot. Got a rough idea what I'm doing. It might be a bit inward in picture, but as long as it works, I think we're in for a win. I'll uh, start cutting some bits up in the short left and uh, we'll crack on. I'm just going to measure my bits out so I know what I'm cutting and what I'm not. So I want it 50 high at the front. on with this and then I'll show you progress when I've done a bit of cutting. I've cut the front piece at 50 uh, centimetres high. I think I've got the angles right and I think I've got it the side, one of the sides ready to cut. We shall see. I'm either going to have fluked this measurement or I'm going to have wrecked the palette. Either way I can reuse it for something else. So uh, let's have a look. get this other side measured out and uh, get this cut I'll show you a bit of footage I've literally been just uh, choking to death for the last 20 minutes so I've not really filmed much right it's going 50 Like I say, it's not going to be perfect because it's uh, just for the allotment. I've already measured out the angle I want. I'm going to have to clad it in something afterwards, I think. Cut next couple of weeks, I'm having some new fence panels at home. So I think what I might do. Is bring those panels up here and clad that and uh, clad compost bin. I seem to waste it if I don't need to. Right. I know some of you are going to go, oh, she's cutting through the big knockings. I actually going to knock them off when I cut through. So uh, bear with me. <laughs> Well, so far, this is what I've got. It looks a right dog's dinner. But I'm hoping, once I've got the back on and it's cladded, it'll look lovely. I says all I just needed it is for to get the bones of a cold frame. So, uh, I think it might be all right when I've sorted, tarted it up, as they say. But we shall see. I think while it's raining, I'm going to have my lunch. So I want some soup and bread. Oh, just covered myself in that. Um, 
yeah so it's a bit freezing today a bit wet so at least if i have some lunch i can make at least the carcass for what i need for this cold frame and then uh, i might take you back home and uh, show you what i've got growing in the house started my chilies i think it was the 2nd of january they're doing all right actually and um got some herbs going on the windowsills got some onions and leeks on the go in the greenhouse i've got winter lettuce and more sweet peas and some more broad beans the broad beans are not showing their edge yet but the winter lettuces and neither are the winter collies they're not showing their little faces out in the out the compost just yet but uh, ooh, i'm gonna have some lunch and then uh, it's a bit of a slow one today because i can't really film too much because it's a bit loud when i've got the drills and the saws going so i think i'm just gonna have to do a short one this week and uh, show you a few bits befores and afters and all that sort of jazz so uh... right then lotties it's not going to look too bad i don't think i said like i said i've got to clad it and tidy it all up fill in the gaps obviously but i think that ain't gonna be bad i think i'm actually also i've got some corrugated plastic at home from when i did the green ass i might do a bit there and a bit there just to let a little bit more light in not a lot just a little window and uh, see if that works any better i think that is going to look all right once i've uh, done what i need to do with it but yeah oh, can't wait to get home and get warm though it's freezing see you shortly and uh i'm gonna head over to the ramp for now I'm sure you see my face right so we're back from the plot now and uh, i thought i'd give you a quick look at how i've got my setup for my chilies and there's a few herbs on the second to bottom shelf bottom shelf's ready for whenever i need it so uh, the top shelf we have californian sweet peppers and um let me have a look can't quite remember Oh, KN and the Marconi. So that's KN, Marconi and the Californian sweet. The next shelf down, I have got the Hungarian black pepper and sweet pepper thaw. Not grown sweet pepper thaw before, so that's going to be interesting. And then under there, I've got my no heat mat on those. Bit of coriander that's gone a bit wild and leggy, but it's only for the rabbit. Leeks have just started coming through this week. I think there is parsley, um, flat curled, um, curled parsley, and oh, I can't remember what else. Basil. And for the life of me, I can't think what the back part is. But yeah, that's this week's uh, show and tell. I've grown peppers and chilies like this. 
for about four years now and I've had really great success so all's good with that um end of the video and I shall see you next week happy shopping happy sh never mind happy shopping happy growing should I say see you next week bye